Hi. Now I've got a question here where we've, we're looking at vertical motion under gravity and if you haven't tried it already just pause the video, come back when ready and I'll run through the solution for you. Okay well we've got this particle P is projected vertically upwards from a point A with a speed of u meters per second and the point A is 17.5 meters above the horizontal ground. And the particle P moves freely under gravity until it reaches the ground with a speed of 28 meters per second. And we've got to show that U equals 21. So to do something like this, what I would like to do is draw a sketch. And I've started a sketch here where we've got the ground and we've got this point A then that we're told is 17.5 meters vertically above the ground. And we've got this particle P, so we're just marking our particle P. Let's just say that this is P. And it's projected upwards with a speed of U, U meters per second. So put that on like so. And when this is thrown up, obviously it's going to go up into the air quite a distance instantaneously come to rest and then start to come back down again. So if we just come back down again, something like this, going to come down, say here and hit the ground. And just before it hits the ground, it's going to have a speed of 28 meters per second. It's a common mistake to think that when it hits the ground, its speed is going to be zero meters per second. We're talking about the instant just before it hits the ground. That's going to be 28 meters per second. We've also got the acceleration due to gravity, which throughout the problem acts vertically downwards. Okay. And that acceleration, illustrated by the double arrow here, call it A, is going to be 9.8 meters per second per second. The acceleration due to gravity. Now when you're dealing with problems like this, it's essentially the general equations for uniform acceleration. And those equations often known as the SUVAT equations S U V A and T where S is the displacement U is the initial velocity V the final velocity A acceleration and T the time it takes now when you're using these equations in problems like this always set up a positive sense and the best thing you can do to set up a positive sense is take the initial velocity as your positive sense. You don't technically have to, but that's what is generally done. So I'm going to take upwards as the positive sense. Now, we're starting from A, okay? This is our initial starting point. So when the particle travels from here up to the very top, it's going to come to instantaneous rest and then come all the way back down to 28 meters per second. That'll be its final velocity. So during this motion, S doesn't represent distance traveled, it represents displacement. And so this is the positive displacement. It goes up to here, comes back to here, and S would be zero at this point. But as it comes down here, S would now be minus 17.5. So you've got to be careful there. That's a place where people can trip up. Next we've got U, U the initial velocity, and this is the U that we've got here. Okay, so we can just say that this equals U if you like. V, the final velocity, well this is the 28, but it's acting downwards in the opposite sense to our positive direction there. So we must say that this is minus 28. And next we have the acceleration, which I'm always getting asked questions about. Why do we just keep it as minus when it's going up and coming back down again? Throughout the problem, the acceleration is going to be in the negative sense to this. The mathematics will work this out correctly, okay? So A is minus 9.8. As for the time, 
Time would be the time it takes to go from here up to here and back down to here. I don't know what that is. We're not given that value. So basically, we don't need this at all. Okay, we could say that we just don't know it, but we don't need it. So we're looking for an equation that connects these variables together. And the one that we need is v squared equals u squared plus 2as, a formula that you should be familiar with. So if that's the case, we've therefore got v, which is minus 28, all squared. You need to put that in brackets if you're doing that, okay? So you've got minus 28, all squared, equals u squared, well, we're trying to find that, plus 2 times the acceleration, which is minus 9.8, times s, the displacement, which is minus 17.5. And if we work this out, you should find that minus 28 all squared comes to 784. And then you've got equals u squared. And if you multiply these together, you end up with plus 343. Then we need to subtract 343 from both sides. That will give us u squared equals 441. Square root both sides, you get u equals the square root of 441. Now, when you square root a value, it would normally be plus or minus. But we've selected u to be in the positive sense. So we know that we want to take the positive value of this. So therefore, u equals 21. We don't have an issue over plus or minus in a question like this. OK, well, I hope that's given you some idea on how to go about that problem if it was giving you some difficulty.